Hey there YouTube, this is what we're talking about today, the K-Fun Lite clone. Or is it the K-Fun Lite Plus clone? I don't really know. And we'll get to that. Let's take a vape. Performing, performing very well, in my opinion. Um, this is from eSiggity.com. There will be a link in the description for that. Let's just get right down to it. eSiggity.com. K Fun Light Clone. I'm going to read to you the product description. The K Fun Light Clone is a rebuildable atomizer made of high quality stainless steel by EFRO. E H P R O. E PRO. E H PRO? Whatever it is, that's who it's made by. It has a standard 510 atomizer connection with liquid capacity of 4.5 mils. The K Fun Light can be configured with a, couple, with a complete stainless steel middle casing or transparent window to be able to keep track of the liquid level. And it comes with the K Fun Light clone, silica wick, canthal wire, mini screwdriver, transparent tank, stainless steel tank, two spare screws, four large O rings, and two small O rings. And you will see that. Right now, how it looks when it comes to you. All right, so what does it look like when it comes to you? Comes in this nice little black leather-ish box. You open it up, there it is. There's the actual K-Fun light, pre-assembled. Here's the stainless steel tank that is interchangeable with the plastic tank for any fluids that may destroy plastic tanks, which I think is pretty cool. You can uh, replace that. You have a double-ended screwdriver that can go on your keychain. One end is a flathead screwdriver and the other end is a Phillips head screwdriver and this uh, works with all the screws that are on the K-Fun you have your drip tip comes with it like that some silica some extra o-rings and this little guy this is a drip tip attachment. Why do you need a drip tip attachment? Well, you take this drip tip off, grab one of my tr trusty red drip tips, it doesn't fit. It doesn't go in there. But if I put this little drip tip attachment in, now I can fit any drip tip that I want. Just like that. Bam. All right. So let's uh, go back to normal mode, talk about it a little bit, and then we'll rebuild it for you. Oh, and it also does come with a little bit of canthal wire. Just right there, just a little bit. Now that you've seen that, let's uh, talk a little bit how a little bit about how it vapes and whether or not I like it. The vapor is is above par, I would say. Um, the vapor production obviously is going to vary with the blend that you have, whether you have 100% PG, 100% VG, 50-50, 70-30, I, ha I personally have a 50-50 blend in here, so it's not going to be a buttload of vapor, but it does have pretty good vapor production. What kind of vape is it? How does it feel? It's a warm vape. 
which I didn't actually believe it was going to be a warm vape because of where the coil sits in the tank. It's a bottom coil rebuildable tank. And the reason it's bottom coil is because the coil actually sits near the bottom of the tank. Go figure. I saw a couple video reviews on uh, on on this specific RTA which is rebuildable tank atomizer some of them it was basically split 50 50 some said it was a warm ba vape some said it was a cool vape I wholeheartedly believe that it was going to be a cool vape just because of how it's built compare it to the Kanger which it doesn't really compare to the Kanger but it's set up similarly it's a bottom coil a lot of time for the vapor to get from the coil to your mouth to cool off that's what I figured it was gonna be made sense right nope it's definitely a warm vape it's not as warm as say like a Bogue cartomizer but it's it's close to it it's it's a warmer I'm spitting all over the place it's a warmer vape um, now why did I say this could be a K-Fun Lite Plus? Right there. You see that? See that screw right there? Yup, that shouldn't be on a K-Fun Lite. Or a K-Fun Lite clone. That is an adjustable airflow. And there's your airflow hole. So I can adjust this airflow if I had my screwdriver. I can take the screwdriver and adjust the airflow super tight. Or I can open it up a little bit. You hear that? That's more air. Which I don't mind. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it, so it kind of threw me off guard. But that's that's supposed to be on the K-Fun Lite Plus. Not on the K-Fun Lite. And these are all clones. But that shouldn't be on there. That's not what I ordered. Am I mad about it? Not really. Having an adjustable airflow is always a plus. I mean, on the e Siggity site, they cost exactly the same. Um, I even looked in my order to make sure that I ordered the, the K-Fun Lite and not the K-Fun Lite Plus, and I ordered the K-Fun Lite, not the Plus, but they, they sent me the Plus, which I'm okay with, but I'm, I'm curious as if, uh, if I were to order something else from their site, um, if, if they were to do the same thing and send me something different. So, I don't know. That kind of threw me off a little bit. But, like I said, I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. Now, let's read a little bit about the K-Fun Lite clone. This is from eSiggity.com. I don't know if I've said that yet. There will be a link in the description to the K-Fun Lite clone on eSiggity.com. Um, I'm just going to read what they have for the product description. The K-Fun Lite clone is a rebuildable atomizer made of high quality stainless steel by EFRO. EPRO. I don't really know how to say that. E H P R O. I think it's EPRO. It has a standard standard 510 atomizer connection with a liquid capacity of 4.5 milliliters, 4.5 mils. That's a lot of juice. The K-Fun light can be configured to a complete stainless steel middle casing or a transparent window to be able to keep track of the liquid level. That's the transparent one and you already saw the stainless steel one when I did the unboxing. So obviously this would be used for juices that don't eat up tanks because if it if the juice did it would eat right through this plastic tank. Uh, the stainless steel would be used more for your acidic juices 
ones that you shouldn't put in a plastic tank. The only downside of that is you can't see where the juice is, so you're kind of shooting, shooting blanks, hoping, spraying and praying that that you're not running out of juice. I'm gonna take another fape. All right. So from eSiggity.com, it's going to cost you $49.99. And let's see. Let's make sure I'm telling you the right thing. The K Fun Light Plus clone is also $49.99. From eSiggity.com. So they're the same price. Maybe they just got mixed up, grabbed the wrong, wrong box. I don't know. But, a little bit about their website. Let me show you that. Alright, so I'm here at their home page. Go down. You can see some of their uh, featured products. Current top sellers. New products. There we go. To get to the K-Fun Light. Tanks. Go down to page two. There it is. There's the K Fun Light clone, forty nine ninety nine. There's the K Fun Light Plus clone, forty nine ninety nine. They have the K Fun three point one Pro Tank, um, the Vision Eternity RBA. Let's see what they have on page one. The AGAT2, AGT, the AGI, Foggers, I go fail. Actually, it's the I go F, but I go L, I go W, the Magoos in bronze or gold. It looks gold. The Magoo in silver. They have e liquid accessories. Contact information, APVs, <clears throat> kits, variable voltage and variable wattage, mechanical mods. Let's see what they have for mech mods. The brass smoke tech magneto, the black enzonic hammer mod clone by Tobeco. That looks kind of cool. The Sigeli number 24, number 25, Sigeli number 8. Smoke Tech Natural. Alright. And yes, everything does have a quick view. Right there. It's your quick view. Which is nice. I really like the quick view. Um, now. Contact information. Let's go to contact. This is my only problem with this website. Is that you have to email them in order to contact them. I personally, maybe it's old school, I like to call companies if I want to contact them. Um, but with eSiggity, you cannot call them. You have to email them. Looks like they are. They have a 10% off co coupon code right now. I'll put that link, that right there, I'll put it in the description. And that's it. All right, now that you've seen the website, you've seen how it unboxes. Um, heard my view on it. Vape's really nice. This is uh, everyday, everyday vape for me. I can take it to work, throw it in my pocket, tilt it upside down. It can lay sideways. I put this thing through through its tests. I've had this for about three weeks now, and uh, this is the second build that I've done on it, uh, just for you guys. I didn't have to have to rebuild it, but I wanted to get this review up. So, do I recommend it? Yes, yes, I do. Highly recommend it. Uh, the K Fun itself, just so you know. Pardon me while I look up the price for the actual K fun let's look uh, 
Um, I should have been more prepared for this. Oh, K Fun Light by Sove Miesto. Sove Miesto is a German company. And on eBay, buy it now for $119.90. $119.90. So the clone is less than half the price. Um, looks like Vaporrev.com or Vaporrev.com, sorry, has it in stock for $99. So between $100 and $120, 125 is what the the Sovimiesto Kfun or Kaifun. I just found out the other day I've been saying it wrong this entire time, so I'm trying to break the habit. The Sovimiesto Kaifun light hundred hundred and twenty dollars before shipping. So hundred and ten to hundred and thirty dollars with shipping to your front door. This guy, fifty two dollars to get to my front door. Less than half. There it is. K Fun Light clone. Or the K Fun Light Plus clone. Pretty sure that's one that's the one it is. K Fun Light Plus clone. From E Siggity. Highly recommended. If you want to try a, a rebuildable tank you want to try uh, get your hands on one try it out if you want to get one for a buddy uh, a vape friend for Christmas now's the time to do it esiggity.com order now highly recommended and no I did not get this for free I actually bought it so it uh, honest opinion right there if you want to stick around watch me rebuild it go ahead if not Hopefully this review helped you out. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. More reviews to come. Plenty of reviews to come. Stay classy, YouTube. Alright, so let's talk about the, the pieces real quick. Yes, there are a lot of them. So here's your base. That's what you're actually going to build your coil on. You can see it has these channels right here that's actually what the juice comes down the pressure uh, forces the juice to go up through that channel and to your wick which will be sitting right here right here it'll be sitting on this ledge your coil goes in between here attaches to these two screws and focus there we go and this hole right here is your airflow. It, so it sits right under the coil. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the K-Fun Light Plus because this has adjustable airflow. So there's your actual airflow hole. This screw adjusts to adjust the airflow. And then you have this... Uh, tube chamber type deal that goes on to the base just like that and you can see those chambers are the the tunnels I was talking about there's a gap right there so that's where the juice is gonna go and then your coil is gonna be in there with all your wick and then the top chamber tube screws right onto that so it's all nice and, and flush. No juice is going to get into there. And then you have the bottom half of your tank and the top half of your tank. Bottom half, top half. Bottom half, top half, top half, bottom half, top half, bottom half. It doesn't matter. They're the same exact thing. So that screws on like so. Then you have the actual tank portion. Um either plastic or stainless steel whichever one you want to use this is the plastic one 
and with the plastic one you have to be gentle with the threading so you don't strip it so just like that and then the top part of the tank bam and it's starting to look like a K-Fun look at that and then you have the top cap which uh, an o-ring in there goes around the top chamber and then it threads into the top part of the tank so you have to make sure everything's lined up all the planets line up catch the threads where are they there they are nope there they are mmm little squeaky not too bad and then obviously drip tip attachment and a drip tip or just the K-Fun drip tip. So there it is. Now, let's rebuild it. Alright, so here's everything I'm going to use for this build. Got my ohm checker. Check. The base to the K-Fun. This is the screwdriver I'm going to wrap my coil around. A pair of needle nose pliers. My cotton. Canthal 28 gauge cutters and another pair of pliers just in case. Set those off to the side. Set this off to the side. Alright. Don't need the cotton just yet. So I'm going to take and put the screwdriver just about in the center of the canthal. I've already torched this canthal, that's why it's so stiff and not springy. I'm gonna put the put the canto in the middle. I'm gonna start wrapping. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we'll leave it at six. See what that gets us. So it's a six wrap, 28 gauge canthal. I'm not going to micro coil it or anything, but I am there. It is. You can see that. Now notice, unlike rebuilding a Kanger Pro Tank, the leads are going opposite direction. They need to go opposite direction on the K-Fund, not the same direction, because they're gonna be connecting to posts that are on either side of the coil. All right? So they need to go, one needs to go up, one needs to go down, or left and right, if that's how you wanna look at it. All right, now what I'm gonna do Fix these just a little bit. Evenly space. Alright. Now what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to place my screwdriver. Over. You know what. Let's make this easier so I don't have to hold. Alright. Now that I've got this situated for you. So you can see it better. You're going to go ahead. And you're going to put your coil right in the center like that. I'm gonna grab your screwdriver that comes with it or any other screwdriver you want. I'm gonna loosen these just a little bit. Wrong way. There we go. And you're gonna take your leads like so. Once you have that wire in place. Go ahead and tighten down that screw. And then you're going to take your other lead and do the same thing. Hold it in place. Tighten down the screw. And then at this point what you're going to want to do is pull up on the screwdriver a little bit. Because you want there to be 
a little space, oh, right there, a little space, now you can see it, between the bottom of the coil and that airflow hole. See what I'm talking about? How it's raised off the deck a little bit? That's what, that's what you want it to do. That'll allow the air to actually come through your coil onto your wick. All right. But now what I'm going to do, test the resistance. 1.43. Pretty solid. All right. Now, personally, I like to do the twisting method when uh, removing excess wire. So you just put a little tension on it, twist it. Oh, that screw was not twisted in enough. That's the only problem I've ever had with doing the, the twisting method, is if they're not securely attached, they won't come off clean and it'll move your wire, move your actual twist, 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 twist. There we go. Clean break. Awesome. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is a 1.343 4143. It's bouncing back and forth. Ohm coil. All right. Now, let's take this. Just knocked over everything. Throw it on a mod. I'm throwing it on my Vapor Shark DNA. One point four, right there. At fifteen watts. Let's just see what the coils look like when they burn. From inside to out, just make a couple adjustments to even out the coils. Let's try that. Getting a nice even glow. It's burning from the inside. See when I push the button, push button, it burns from the inside out evenly. That's what you want right there. There's still a little juice left on this. That's why it's flaming up. Don't don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt myself. Hopefully. All right. Looks like our coil's set. You just want to double check and make sure that that coil is off that bridge a little bit. So I'm going to stick my screwdriver back in here. And just give it a little tug like that. So now there's definitely a gap in there. All right. Zoom out. Zoom out. All right. We're almost, almost home free. Just using a regular cotton ball for the wick. I just peel it like so. Might need a little less than that actually. Alright. And then take it, twist it. That helps get it through the coil nicely. And then what I like to do is take the end 
and cut it so none of those frays are there. So there's a nice little point to it. Take it and put it through the coil. Right about there. And I'm going to grab some scissors. And right now I'm just cutting off excess. I'm leaving enough enough room on each side to where I can still cut it off but it's not too short because you can always take some away you can't you can't really add add to it so right about there then what I'm gonna do is grab my juice I don't really know what juice I want to put in here today um, I'll be right back. All right, now that I've figured out what juice I want to use, I'm going to take and saturate this wick. Never dry burn cotton. Because once you do, you'll just burn the crap out of it. So always make sure if you have a wick in there and it's a cotton wick that there is juice on and around that wick. I'm going to make sure that this is completely saturated before I even touch the button. One of the coils moved. Damn coil. All right. Make sure that it's producing some vapor. Check atomizer. All right, there we go. Producing some vapor. And that's at 15 watts. Alright. Put a little bit more juice on there. And what you what you want to do <coughs> you wanna take Yeah, there's there's way too much cotton on here. I'm going to cut some of this off. Alright. You want to take your wick and push it up against that well. But you want to make sure that none of it goes into this little uh, chamber, I guess you could call it. This little slot. Because if it does, then it's going to prevent juice from getting up to your wick. So you want to make sure that it's all nice and tidy on that uh, little patio type surface right there. You want to do the same thing on the other side. Get all that wick up there. And that's just about how it should look right there. Alright, now from there you're gonna take your lower chamber put it on there screw it in now what I like to do after I add something I like to give it a fire 
Make sure it still fires. All right. Still firing. Take your upper chamber. Put that on there. If I can catch the threading. There we go. Make sure it's snug. Test the fire. Still firing, and you can vape it from here. Just like that. You're going to take lower part of your tank. Screw that on. And take this off of here real quick. So I make sure I get a nice snug fit without ruining my connection. Then you're going to take your clear part of the tank or the stainless steel part, whichever one you're using. Thread that on there. Upper part of the tank. And like I said before, you need to be really gentle with this plastic tank because if you're not, you can strip the threading really easily. Top cap. Just like so. And drip tip. And drip tip attachment if you're using the not K Fun drip tip. Alright. So now we're done. But wait. There's no juice in there. We gotta fill it up. See that screw? Take that screw and unscrew that screw. I just hit screw like eight times. Now, <clears throat> this isn't the most ideal way to fill it up, but the reason you have to do this is because of how the K Fun works with the pressuring and everything. If you fill it up from the top, it will most likely flood or leak. You need to fill it up from the bottom, and then when you put the screw in, it creates like a vacuum. So when you turn it up, the the anatomy of the K-Fun actually works for you. So I like these little bottles with the needle drip tip attachment because you can just stick that right in there and start filling up your juice and you'll see juice start to fill up that clear section There it goes. Just add a little bit more. So once that clear section fills up completely, there's really not much more space that it can hold for, for juice. Oh no. Take the screw, put it back in. Screwdriver. Screw it back in. Make sure it's nice and snug. Attach it to your device. Give maybe one or two primer puffs. You don't need very many on this. That airflow is super tight. Adjust the airflow. There we go. There you have it. K Fun Light rebuilted. Or the K Fun Light Plus, whatever it is.